Greetings, Internet. This is BJ Black, and welcome to part three of my walkthrough of Mon Moose Quest Paradox RPG, Chapter 3. Today we will enter Esta with the intention to enter that Tartarus and proceed through it into heaven. And honestly, I expected an event as soon as I entered. Okay. Oh, it's you all. We just now managed to prepare the steamboat. Amazing! You've launched such a huge ship in this lake. Can we get to the Tartarus in the middle of this lake with this ship? If done poorly, it seems we'll fall into the hole. Yeah, but I thought falling into the hole was the basic plan. Do not worry, we have also considered that. This will deliver you safely to the bottom of the Tartarus. And another thing, why can't we fly in? Let's say that the Tartarus makes the air too turbulent for Galda to enter. However, we need the king's, Queen's license to set sail. It's a law, so although it's an inconvenience, please understand. We are saving the world and we have to deal with this BS. Ugh. Bureaucracy is such a bother. Well, fine, let's go get the permit from Queen Grand Noah. Uh, obvious excuse for a moderately important event at Grand Noah Canada. So is obvious. I have heard the story. Joining with the Jashin and fighting the goddess. Truly a strange development. Yeah, I'm glad we can rope you into just anything we want. But that too is for the sake of saving the world. Luca, I trust in your judgment. So, regarding the Tartarus at Esta, I have arranged for the means of invading it. Take this license and go to Esta. The steamship will deliver you to the Tartarus. Received one special steamship permit. Thank you very much, Your Majesty. Luca, the fate of the world rests on your sword. Take that to heart as you go. <laughs> yes, leave it to me. Also, I thought it would serve you, so I had an investigation done. We have uncovered the whereabouts of the legendary smith, Randolph. The information is not entirely reliable, but it seems that after wandering the four corners of the earth, he drifted to Eliasburg. The legendary smith is in Eliasburg. We should meet him and request that he make us some armaments. Currently, although we've gotten made Eric Iron, it's too hard to forge. Normal smiths can't make anything with it. So then, let's have a look about Eliasburg as well. Let's search out the legendary blacksmith Randolph. No way, he was in Eliasburg. Even though I lived there for a while, I never knew. Hey, so Poppy's world smithing tour will end where it began. It's a little cliche, but I'll allow it. And Poppy, do you actually know the name of the smith who taught you smithing? You know his name, what you might call him? It was always Oyakata. A boss, I like to translate it. Probably a bad translation, though. Come to think of it, I was entrusted with a message from King Grangold. A gravely wounded high succubus was brought to Succubus Village. Near the village, she collapsed, bearing critical wounds. Presently, she is undergoing treatment in Succubus Village. This high succubus. The story is that it could be Cuba... Ah, uh, no. Alma Elma. 
Yeah, she had this fake name for the Colosseum fights. Uh, Cubas, maybe? Anyway. Alma Elma is gravely wounded in Succubus Village. Since the battle at the Maol Castle, the whereabouts of the Shiten Mole have been untraceable. But Alma Elma, although bearing critical damage, appears to have managed to escape to safety. Although I worry for her wounded state, it is good news that she is alive. Alright, let's head for Succubus Village immediately. Tamamo and Elbeti are also are certainly surviving somewhere. That is what I believe. So then, before I start, it's Succubus Village. Let's see how all my Elma is doing. Also, we can't forget about the report that the legendary smith is in Eliasburg. Before we head for heaven, it's certainly best that we stop by. Okay, so I thought this would be a waste of time. Maybe a chance for Heaven's Forces to antagonize this. But that was worth hearing about. The permit thing was a lame excuse, though. First, Succubus Village. The injured Alma Elmo is brought to this village. Let's go to the mayor's house. You know, simple as that, then. Everyone, have you come for a sick bed visit? Yeah, I don't think you're that sick. Are you all right, Alma Elma? We heard that you escaped from the battle in the Maol Castle, but we fought to hold our ground there. But I, Tamamochan, and El Betia were captured together. I somehow managed to escape and flew to this village with teleport magic. There, my power got deple depleted and I collapsed. Your escape is felicity, even if you it was you alone. But Tamamo and Elbetier are prisoners, huh? It is fortunate that they are alive, but as soon as possible we need to recover them. The two of them should be confined in the Mao castle. Tamamog chan got stuck with a severe ceiling. She's a sixth ancestor, naturally they sealed her powers. Well, it's still good that you escaped. Perhaps not taking me seriously, as a succubus, the watch on me was relatively lenient. So, I somehow managed to my escape. I'd like to rescue Tamamo and El Betie without a moment's delay. But the recovery of the Mao Castle is impossible without a military scale force. Hey, I like to think that my party is a military scale threat, but... <clears throat> the Jashin is forming a recovery operation. There's nothing to be done but wait for that. So then, I've rested up and my wounds have healed. I'm coming along with you guys as a member of the party. Alma Elma has joined the party. I do have one request of you. Could we visit the home where I lived when I was little? It's right nearby, I won't take much time. There's just a little something that I'd like to grab. We don't mind at all, but where is this house? It's west of the inn. It seems that a pair of sisters have a ranch there now. A pair of sisters? That would be the Minkubus Rancubus pair. I understood who will bring you there, but be careful. Your body has only just recovered. Okay, 
west of the inn. This looks about right. Hey, <laughs> how nostalgic. I passed my girlhood years in this house. Alma Element, you're the succubus queen, right? As the house where a future queen lived. Sorry for being rude, but isn't it pretty small? My mom was a bit complicated. I got neglected. And now that you mention it, I've heard that before. I don't want to invade your privacy. Let's finish our business here. There should be stairs, should have been stairs to the basement. Hmm, if I recall. Here they are, the stairs to the underground storage. I shut myself in here and trained quite a lot. Come on, this way. Letters and journals. That's it for my personal belongings. Alma Elmer got her belongings together. And this book. That's an old martial arts text, isn't it? It's a pretty old document by the look of it, but from hundreds of years past. Perhaps too few people have read it. Its state of preservation is pretty good. There are a lot of documents passed down the Queen Succubus lineage, but among them, one text has never been in anyone's hands but mine. Certainly, the other books are suitably worn, visible even from the spines. Dirty Love Secrets, Caprice of the Gale, Wisdom of the Great Horror, each of them, you can tell that they were read through the generations until worn and broken. But this ultimate fist book alone slipped untouched in a corner of the storehouse. Succubus, succubi don't need fighting arts, after all. I see. The queen succubi down the ages didn't take this one up. To the erotic type monsters, fighting must seem like a savage art. Let's take this book too. I've got it completely memorized, but you mustn't forget the basics. Sorry for dragging you out for this. My errand here is done. Anyway, with this, Alma Elmer's business is finished. Let's head for Estes Tartarus, so we can ride into heaven. <laughs> Add the medal. Alma Elma's Homecoming. But before Esta, Elias better. There it is. We heard that the legendary smith Randolph is in this town. But is he really here, even now? In any case, let's listen to what his fellow professional has to say. Let's talk to the boss at the smithy. Okay. I was gonna do that even if you didn't say so, Luca. Cause it's obvious. Hmm. Boss, I've returned. Oh, Poppy, it looks like you've improved your skill quite a lot. What's wrong? Is something troubling you? Well, actually, there's a rumor that a legendary smith is in this town. Boss, have you heard the rumor about Randolph? Hey, hey, I don't need no rumors on that. I'm Randolph you himself, you see. Eh? Eh? It matters when Poppy says it. Eh? Pfft. 
the boss puts on a headband. Hey, puppy. Did you not know my background or my name? <laughs> Honestly, that's on you. We witnessed your first meeting where you didn't introduce yourself. But, boss, did you always have such a sour face? Yeah, that portrait. Anyway, let's get our lesson from him and let him rock. What's the deal acting like it's the first time you've seen my face? I told you from the start, I'm the world's greatest smith. For real? NPCs say shit like that all the time. We'd be stupid to take it seriously. Or remember it. Normally, that's just an old guy making empty posts. Yeah, exactly. It's unbelievable that you were the legendary Smith Randolph. Were you not originally from this town? I was born in Gramgold. In order to master the technique of smithing, I wandered from country to country. I even went to Yamatai and to the Elf Village. At some point it got so I was being called the Legendary Smith. But I got emptied out inside. Then the big war started and I got sick of making weapons of war. That's when I decided to lead a quiet life in this town. Just making simple weapons of self-defense for beginner adventurers. So that's what you decided. But, you took Poppy as your pupil. On a whim, I helped out a little runt with nowhere to go. At first, that's all it was. Seeing her give her all like she does, I got fired up myself. In no time, I had taught all I could teach. Boss! So, if you've come back to ask something of me, it's Meteoric Iron. Yes, that makes the explanation quick. We want to request equipment from you to make use of Meteoric Iron. The legendary equipment made in the age of the Holy War. The fine goods of that sort, they mostly used Meteoric Iron. But, in this age, there aren't any smiths who can shape meteoric iron. With the exception of myself. So, hand over the meteoric iron. I'll show you how shooting stars can gleam. Uh, yeah, I don't give a fuck, buddy. Teach Poppy or get the fuck out. Want anything other than shooting star arms? Speak your order and I'll make it. Oh, Synthesis 2. Well, I'll make use of this eventually. But you still better teach Poppy. You're amazing after all, boss. You really were the number one smith in the world. Well, before long I'll be number two in the world. You're gonna become the number one, Poppy. Dragons and iron and smithing. You've got a deep connection. And further, you, it seems, are beloved by the god of smithing. Boss, I'm going to do it. I'm going to keep on training and work my skills up to world class. Now it's a trophy legendary smith. But I feel like there's part of this story that isn't adding up. In that... That guy's a normal human who is all over this world. This world. Famously crawling with monster girls that, uh, have few compunctions, let's just say. I wouldn't put it past him to actually be Puppy's literal father. But it doesn't look like that's gonna come out. In any case, I said we'd go to Essa and we got sidelined by those side quests. But 
better not mix side quests with the main quest, so I'll stop this video here and say thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.